sit down video I wanted to film a Valentine's Day makeup tutorial I haven't put I haven't filmed a makeup tutorial video on my channel in so long so I wanted to do a Valentine's Day inspired look for you guys so I did this little cute little pink situation here and I just want to say I love it I love it matches my little cardigan the hair is hair and I love it so if you guys love it just as much as I do, don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe, and comment down below. All the products are listed in the description box for you. And so, let's get into this one. Hey y'all, welcome back to another video. So I know this video is super late, but this is day one of me getting out of imposter syndrome. So as you can see from the title of this video, this video was supposed to be posted during Valentine's Day. I filmed it, edited it, it is live. Today is March 14th, it is 6.44 in the morning and I just woke up and I was like, you know what? I am never going to reach my goals if I continue to be fearful i'm never going to reach my goals if i continue to just you know stay in fear and just if i continue to stay in fear and doubt myself and just talk negative over myself if i continue if i continue to compare myself to others and everything a lot of the times i have all these great ideals of um videos that i want to pose i ed i record them i edit them and then i just be like okay, no, I don't like this, or no, I'm I'm not happy with it, or it doesn't look like what I want it to look like, or it doesn't look like so-and-so and so-and-so, -and -so. but it's just like, I have to continue to remind myself that, girl, everybody who I am so-called comparing myself to had a day one. Their day one content didn't even, doesn't look like their year three content, and so I just need to just stop and get out of my own way, and I think that's the biggest thing that I can say that has held me back, I guess, during my imposter syndrome stage is that I have held myself back from a lot of things, like not even just with content creation, just like um, work opportunities, um, life opportunities, like just things in general. And so I just woke up. I couldn't sleep. I was hot. <laughs> so I woke up and I was like, you know what? Let me go edit this video. Let me go po post this video. Let me repurpose my content. So I have been following Shay Nicole on Instagram, YouTube, and um, TikTok. And she has this whole series about, you know, content creation, how she started and getting out of imposter syndrome and like ways to, you know, set your mind up so that you can be successful and everything. And so I was like, you know what? let me just go ahead and do what I got to do. Like, not even for the purpose of, you know, becoming like this big micro or macro influencer. But even though she said you got to think, you have to put yourself as if you were a macro influencer, but not even for the purpose of that, but just so that I can say that I did it because I post and ghost so much and I hate that about myself. And a lot of the times it's really because I have imposter syndrome or I'm lazy or I'm just like constantly comparing myself and I need to stop that. So this is what this is. So yes, this video is old as hell. Yes, it's like, girl, we are in April and you posting a Valentine's Day video. Yes, I am because I recorded this video. I edited this video and I'm about to post it. I have so much, so many other content too that is like in my phone, on my camera. And I'm like, Amani, just post it, edit it, do what you can do with it. It's gonna reach somebody. It's gonna inspire somebody. Somebody gonna like it. Even if it doesn't get any likes, even if it doesn't get any views, it's just for you to say, okay, I'm getting out of imposter syndrome. I am posting the content. I'm recording the content. I'm editing the content because at the end of the day, this is for me and my likeness and for my glory and to help me get out of this mental battle that I have on myself so that is what I'm doing so I hope you guys like this video if you do like this video don't forget to give it a thumbs up hit that subscribe button and if you can relate to this voiceover then comment down below some of your struggles 
that you've been having with imposter syndrome or comment down below like the things that have helped you just continue to move forward and get out of this negative mindset that you have about yourself or stop comparison or anything like that like just you know anything that has helped you you know and this is for ladies this is for men this is for everybody who has also been dealing with the same thing that I have been dealing with so yeah that's my little spiel um I don't know how long this recording is it may not even match up with the video but if you're listening to this and if you're watching this then and if you can relate show your girl some love and this is a step forward and I'm going to continue to keep hosting this is my accountability you may see this on YouTube well, you're going to see it on YouTube, but you're going to see it on TikTok. You're going to see it on Instagram. You're going to see it in YouTube shorts because I'm tired of it. You know what I'm saying? So, but anyway, yeah, I hope you guys enjoy it and show you some love. Bye. say that one of the reasons that held me back from posting this video is because I feel like I stay too long in certain angles so like for example like for the duration of this whole video I'm only in one angle like you only see the side of my face I'm not switching angles um it's just the same clip basically yeah it's different things that i'm doing as far as putting my concealer contouring eyeshadow foundation but it's like it's the same angle and i feel like as a content creator i'm still learning to or as a um developing or growing content creator i'm still learning how to maneuver the camera and get certain angles um so i can switch up the clips when i am editing at that i will say that was one of the reasons why i delayed myself from posting this video um another reason why i i delayed the video too was because of the lighting my lighting in my room is not the best um, I need to work. I need to get a better ring light, um, and I just need to find better ways to um, show different angles. I could have did it from like the backside, showed like um, like put the camera on my dresser and show that back view of me like in the mirror doing the makeup, or I could have put it to the other side or front facing, or just different angles um, to like get different clips. I feel like that also too will grab a uh, viewer's attention by just showing different views and angles of myself doing certain things um also the lighting as well but um yeah that also helped me back I'm like oh my gosh like this is not boring to me because it's my video but I'm like somebody who doesn't know me you know it's just like okay why is she in the same clip like is she going to show me like you know so it's like this that's just like the minor things that I really critique myself on when I'm editing and if I don't truly love it I won't post it but it's like I have to continue to remind myself like Amani like you are growing like you're still learning you're not you don't have the space to do all the things you don't know how to zoom in and get all the clips so or zoom in and get all the angles like it's just things that like I see that I don't truly like and then I beat myself up like oh my gosh I don't like it but like girl no like just post the damn video <laughs> just post the video but I will say that I do love that I have learned to show my personality throughout my videos like I'm not afraid to sing I'm not afraid to dance I'm not afraid to just genuinely be myself so that is one thing that I can say positive about this video is that I'm singing I'm dancing I'm just being my true self because if I wasn't in front of the camera this is how I would be anyway jamming to old school this is probably some 90s R&B because I am an R&B girly that's basically all I listen to so I'm probably on Pandora and listening to a 90s R&B and um yeah that's what I was doing so I do I will say that out of all the negative things that I just listed the, the most positive thing that I will say is that I love that my personality has shown is shown throughout the camera and I'm just being myself like this is genuinely me so that is two of the things that has held me back and one positive thing that I will say about 
this video so yeah and i love the musical the music selection like i think i'm learning how to add music that i like that is more geared towards me so i will say that so two negatives two positive about this video so yeah i know i said bye earlier but i'm back <laughs> as i'm editing i'm like what can i say like what can i do because there's a lot of downtime um from it's a lot of downtime, so I'm like, okay, what can I say? What can I do? So I just figured, like, why don't I just record two negatives that I like and two positives that I like? So, yeah, the angles. I don't like the angles. I don't like the lighting. I love that my personality has shown, and I love this, the music selection um, throughout the video. So if you like my music and my taste, give it a thumbs up, girl. I know I've been jamming and doing my face and everything like that, but I wanted to try this new TikTok trend that I've been seeing going on where you take your face powder. Now, this press powder, I had this for several years, but it is the Maybelline Fit Me uh, 355 Coconut. So the girls, what they've been saying is you take your press powder and you bake with this basically. And you just press it into your concealer and then you go on top of your setting powder and that gives you more of a less creased under eye so we about to try that so i'm going to make sure i'm not creasing here i'll make sure i go ahead and blend this out like really really good i already had mascara on so, this is my eyelid. It should look like that. But we're going to go in with, I'm going to use this. Uh, I'm going to just use this one. So, it doesn't matter. I'm going to go in with this one. And just press it in there. Take it off of your hand. And then go in and press the concealer into your, into your skin. So basically everywhere you concealed, that's what you want to do to your concealer. Okay, we shall see. And then I'm going to take my powder and I'm going to do this. Mm-hmm. And then I'm gonna go on top everywhere I concealed and with that powder. That's what the girl said to do. Like I said, I'm doing. I'm acting like I ain't got no more powder. That's what I'm acting like. Like I ain't got no more powder. Alright. So we'll let that sit. So 
<clears throat> okay so overall i loved how the look came out i love how the video came out overall um like i said in the previous like i said previously like i just need to work on my angles i need to work over work on my lighting um but overall i think it looks really really good um i love the look i was so happy with the way that this look turned out from my hair to my makeup i need to like really work on like enhancing my eyeshadow because i feel like the camera does not pick up the depth of the eyeshadow because it looks like it is just like one color but i promise you in person like you can see like the darker color in my crease um so yeah i was gonna put eyelashes on on this look but i am not an eyelash girly like and if they're not professionally put on i'm not doing it i i do not like doing eyelashes y'all so i just did some mascara did some lip liner i probably could have put the lip liner on a little bit heavier on the top lip um but i didn't do that um i didn't do that for whatever reason i don't know why but it came out so good i loved it and yeah um hope you guys i hope you guys enjoyed this video i know it's a little different by me by me being transparent about my imposter syndrome and just you know commenting on what i could have done to improve this video but if you liked it and you enjoyed it and you've made it this far to end of the to the end of the video um give your girl a like comment down below and don't forget to subscribe to my channel uh, i'm trying to get to 100 followers i've been on youtube for three years now and i'm still stuck so it's probably because of my imposter syndrome and because i post and ghost so that's on my part but if you made it this far go ahead and subscribe and just be on the lookout for more transparent videos for me and just more of me opening up and talking about my imposter syndrome and just trying to improve and grow as a content creator so yeah, thanks guys. Hope you guys enjoyed. Bye. I gave my heart and you fell in the deep end. You came into my life while I was sinking. I've been on that type of time with demons. All the time I was outside, I was creeping. It was love at first sight, girl, when you walked in. Couldn't look deep in your eyes because I did love it. You was hurting deep inside and you was broken. But I was on the other side and didn't notice. I won't waste my time when it comes to you. Put my pride aside, give it all to you. Put my pride aside, no. Girl, I won't waste no time. I won't waste no time when it comes to you. Put my pride aside, give it all to you. Put my pride aside, give it all to you. Pull it up fast for you. Two, two, three bus rounds for you. All eyes on me, got me feeling like top, but I do it all for you.